Good morning YouTube, welcome aboard the storm, it's the furry biker on board Firestorm with a Y. Hope everybody's doing well out there, keeping it safe around the side now if you're a fellow biker. And of course, legal. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I just threw an evil laugh and now I just fucking felt like it. So I'm going to start this video out as I always do with a huge shout out to all of my subscribers, old and new. You people are absolutely fucking wonderful. It is brilliant to have, and an absolute pleasure and privilege to have you people on board with me. A couple of shout outs, the obligatory one, of course, to Steve, Ken, and Sue. The awesomely wonderful people at Bike Talk of Nottingham. Who, uh, you know, brilliant people, wonderful, wonderful instructors. Very down to earth easy to work with and they tell you how it is yeah man <laughs> and also um, another shout out to T-Lark the Fox always T-Larking around hope you're doing well mate things keep going good for you at least I hope they do <laughs> so and um, hmm. oh, I should have put a shout out to Rossi Two Wheels Random shout out to Rossi Two Wheels. Not for any particular reason, but because I can. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Another shout out to my good vlogging friend, Moto Turtle. So, into this video we go. Headlong. Good song by Queen, that is. The, uh, I believe the Miracle album, 1989. Headlong down the highway, and I'm rushing headlong. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, insurance. I've had a bit of a, a really weird fucking week. You know, since I passed my full test, since I got my full license. I rang up my insurers on Saturday, you know, to inform them that I'd changed, you know, from provisional to full. And, uh, <laughs> It's so fucking weird because, you know, first time I rang, when I rang them first, they said to me it's going to be a, you're going to get charged for changing the details that you've gone from a full lot, provisional to a full. And they then informed me I was going to get further charged every fucking month. So my premium would be going up by about £30 a month more. I was like, are you fucking serious? Come on. So, I says, no, don't bother changing it. Anyway, I got an email. Well, it was one of their live chats online. And, um, so if you don't change your details to say that, you know, you've got a full license now, it means your insurance is invalid. Well, it's not invalid, it's just been voided. Well, actually, it both means the same thing. But at the same time, you're still covered. Right, okay, so my insurance is either it's invalid, voided, or I've got cover. Well, you do have cover, but if you have an incident or an accident, then because your details are incorrect, you may not get a full payout, or if you get pulled by the police, then you could be done for no insurance, you know, scare taxes and all that, just to get me to pay this fucking money. So in the end, I rang them back because they threatened to cancel my policy within seven working days. So I was talking to a lass this time instead of a bloke on the phone, and I said, um, "Look, I've been told it's going to be thirty pounds a month more." Well, the reason it's going to be more is, you know, now that you've got the full license, you're deemed higher risk because you can now use motorways, if you want extra cover you can carry pillions, you know, and all that of a jazzle. But um, she was actually, he was wrong, it's not £30 a month, it's a one-off charge of £30 called a premium increase tax. Another tax. Tax, 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 and then you have your admin charge on top of that, 
which is £17.95. Ouch. So, uh, yeah. 50 fucking quid to change the details and update my license on their system. Bonkers. Fucking bonkers. I don't, you know, I really don't understand why the hell you know, everything is fucking charge this, charge that, tax this, tax that. And then they say, you know, the other thing is you can, you know, if you had a, a bigger bike, you could go and jump on that and ride it now. Well, there's a few ins and outs, etc., as to why I'm hanging on with Firestorm for a bit. First note, well, is, you know, I've literally only just got it, so it would cost me to get out of the finance agreement. It would then cost me to cancel the insurance. More money. I would then have to pay the deposit on a new bike. Okay, I'll get good money trading on fast one, but that's not the point. I would then also have to pay out another lot of fucking insurance. So... It makes sense to just keep older. You know. It's not like my license is going to go anywhere. Unless I'm an absolute fucking loon, which I'm not going to be. It's not like I'm fucking pulling wheelies at 140 miles an hour. So yeah, you know, it would cost me way too much to step up to a bigger bike right now, as it stands. Because of fees, fees, more fees. And yet even more fees! So that is why I've not stepped up to a bigger bike yet, even though I have actually now got my full license. Some people might think that's weird. Be like, fuck's sake, hurry up, get yourself something bigger. What's the point if it's going to cost me an absolute fucking fortune, as it stands? You know. So, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what's been going on with us recently. Who would have thought, actually passing me full Category A license caused so many fucking headaches? <laughs> it's just, it's fucking, it is honestly fucking bonkers. It really is. But, uh, yeah, everything's been sorted out now and, you know, covering everything's been sorted. Everything's nice and seemingly legal once more. But, you know, the insurance thing really does need to get sorted out. You know, they need to overhaul the insurance market in my books. You're not fucking charged for everything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's my morning... That's my morning moan out of the way. <laughs> so what's it like riding without L blades? A lot fucking better, I'll tell you that now. Getting a lot more nods. I'm actually getting a bit more, even a bit more respect from fucking flash car bastards as well, let me see. Which is odd. And, you know, yesterday I was riding home and filtered up through traffic and someone says, Is that an R6? Mm -hmm. No. Well, thanks for thinking it. <laughs> because Firestorm's quite a big bike, physically, some people do think she's an R6. But believe it or not, the R6 is actually smaller than Firestorm. <laughs> With a bike. So, I think on that note, I'm going to end this little video here. The short of it seems to be working better for me because of the I'm not getting so much vloggers block with them. <laughs> okay, so it's time to end this little video here, I think. So, I'd like to say, everybody, keep it nice and safe, rub side down if you're a fellow biker out there. My fellow, my subscribers, my friends and that, if you're watching. You know, stay safe. 
especially in this heat if you're living in the UK because it is fucking stifling over here I don't worry I will be doing a video on that as well maybe next week and um, yeah thank you very much for watching if you like what you've seen throw me a like if you got something to reply to it chuck me a comment and it will be very 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 nice if you people out there would hit that little subscribe button down in the corner so until next time people take it easy take care stay safe i'll see you all in my next video this is the Furry Biker signing off until next time. Bye!